video off by saying sorry about the shitty ass swatches not even gonna comment on that and also this was filmed before my nose piercing fell out that is why i don't have the hoop in just thought i would do a, i guess a little disclaimer if you were wondering but yeah enjoy my shitty ass um unboxing and swatches eh hey guys what's up i'm going to be doing a haul of stuff from tarte can you even see it from tarte and this one I gotta be careful because of all my packaging, but it's from Juvia's Place, so let's get started! Okay, so I think I sucked out all the helium in here, so who knows how long this is gonna last, but my voice sounds funny as fuck, that's for sure. Anyways, so as you can tell by the title and my intro, I got my box from Juvia's Place, which I've had for a while, and Tarte. You can even see it's like whitewashed. Also, right before I filmed, my thumbnail came off. What What the fuck? And I just put these damn fake nails on yesterday. What even? Anyways, so these have been in my room for a while. I just never unboxed them because I never got around to filming. So, yeah, but now I am. Even though I look like trash. I can't tell. I think the helium is uh, coming off, which is good. Okay, it definitely is. I can hear my normal voice again. <laughs> Anyways, so, um, yeah, these have been in my room for a while now. I just never got around to unboxing them. I think we're going to start off with Juvia's Place because that's the one I'm more anticipating because I've never seen any Juvia's Place in person, never tried it and stuff. And yeah, Nikki Tutorials definitely persuaded me to try it. The only weird thing is, this is one tiny ass box for two palettes. Like, I swear on Nikki's videos and stuff, the palettes look a lot bigger. So this is definitely interesting. But let us get started. Got my trusty scissors right here. And also, how the fuck do people deal with these kind of nails? Like, oh my god. When I hit it off something, or like something makes it go up, oh my god, that fucking hurts so much. Like, this one on my thumb just popped off, and I'm like, what the fuck? It definitely hurt a lot, that's for sure. Okay, so inside, it just looks like this. Oh god, how am I going to take this out? So I got three different things because I couldn't help myself. I was palette smaller than I thought it was. Anyways, they were having like a sale on these products. So I'm like, I might as well get it. And I think I used Nikki's uh, code. So it was like a little bit even cheaper. So yeah, they also did not take that long to come in, which I'm very happy about because I really hate how long delivery can take. But anyways, so I got the Saharan palette, which looks like this. I will do swatches and I'll open it up after. I just want to show what the boxes are right now. Ow. Then I got the Saharan eyeliner. Never tried like, um, I think these ones are liquid or like the potted eyeliner. Never tried those before, so I thought it'd be cool to try. And then the last thing I got was ew, um, the Festival Liquid Lip. These are matte liquid lips. Never tried their liquids, obviously. So I thought it'd be fun to try them. Also, I love Juvia's Place's packaging. It just looks so cool. Like I just, I love it. So I think I'm going to open the eyeliner first. So here it is. Sorry about like when my face gets all white. It's from the sun. I'm using natural light. So sorry about that. I'm trying to make sure that doesn't happen. But it does not going to work. Ooh, okay. Oh, I forgot it comes with its own brush. That's cool. Okay. So let's do not. Okay, that's all. So it looks, so when you get it, it looks... I feel like it's gonna pop out. Anyways, this is what it looks like. So there's the brush and then the two eyeliners. I think the two colors are brown and black. Yeah, so there's this brown color, which honestly kind of either looks like milk chocolate or shit. Oh, gotta be careful, it's glass. And then we got this black one. So, yeah, and then it comes... Oh, God, I can't get it out. Oh, my nails. How do girls do this? Not even girls, just anybody who wears nails. How do y'all do it? Anyways, and then comes with its own little brush i hope you can actually see it but yeah it just comes with a brush which looks like you got one end like this and one end like this i don't know if you can see it but i'm gonna open up the eyeliners to see what they look like oh i don't, I don't really want to like actually open it but it's just like this teeny ass little pot with eyeliner but i definitely think this will last me because i don't really use eyeliner because um i'm not good at it but I feel like these kind of eyeliners would be a lot easier to use because honestly with um felt tip ones or just like any of those kind of like penciled or pen ones 
they're honestly really annoying to use so i feel like these would be a lot easier to draw with but yep just these teeny little pots so this net weight is six gram or 0 0.2 ounces which i guess just, i don't know if that's supposed to be like all together or one each i don't know but anyways i got this and um i believe all of juvia's places products are cruelty free this one is it says on the back that it is we're gonna go with the liquid lip la next i want to go with the palette last because that's what i'm very excited for because i swear every time i see nikki using one of their palettes i'm just like what the fuck pigment hello oh it came out oh i'm gonna be honest this dark color <laughs> i've had dark lipsticks before but they're not very wearable it's definitely hard for me to wear them but anyways so it comes with these two of course it comes with two colors so it comes with like a dark color and like a more nudish color. So the colors are, the dark one is, does that say doo-doo? I have a feeling that's what it's supposed to say. I hope you can uh, see it, but that's what the name is. It looks like it says doo-doo. That's a, I guess the name works with the color because it looks like just like a black color. Could just be like a really dark brown, but why would you name it that? Anyways. Um, and then the other color is called soil. So it's like, when I think soil, I think like dark brown or like, not like dark brown or um, like maybe like a, I don't even know how to describe soil. Like this is not how I would describe soil. It looks more like a peachy color, like a peachy orange color, but let me see the name. Oh, I think if you can see the name, it just says soil. I can't get it to focus anyways, but yeah, it just looks like. Oh, it just looks like this. Sorry about like not focusing or whatever, but yeah, that's what that color looks like. So I'm gonna open these and do a quick swatch on my arm. So I don't know how these will last because every time I do arm swatches, pretty much any of the lip colors that I use, they always get stuck on my arm, which is good because it shows that it lasts, but like, well, not really because like, it's not like you're eating on your arm. <sighs> how do how do y'all open shit with these kind of nails or just nails in general? Thank God I have my my one thumbnails going because it makes it easier to open stuff. But still, damn. Like I can't tell. Like I forget if this is supposed to be like an actual black, or if it's supposed to be like a dark purple, a dark brown, or something. I don't know. I think it's supposed to be just black. So we'll see. So this is what it looks like in the tube. I don't know if you can see it, but that's what it looks like. So we're just gonna do a quick swatch of it on my arm see what it smells like because honestly this packaging stinks it smells horrible that smells disgusting it smells like paint and that is not something i want my lipstick to smell like like it smells like like a car shop like where my dad works so um now it's not really something i want my lips to smell like i really don't know what to do Anyway, so here's what it looks like. That's what the doe fit applicator, whatever the fuck the word is. Oh, I can't see shit, but. Okay, that's definitely a black color. This feels nice on my arm though. <laughs> that's such a bad swatch, but here's what the color looks like. I'll try and do close-ups of the colors, but whatever. So yeah, that's just what the color looks like. It's definitely just, <gasps> I think I got some on my pants. Anyways, it's definitely just like black, like straight out black. I think it has a lot of, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Opacity, whatever. Like it definitely looks opaque. What's the word? Yeah, I think so. Now we're going to move on to soil. <sighs> this is bothering me. Oh, I forgot I didn't open this one. Yeah, this is more like a, not even pink. It's like an orange color. Like it definitely looks orange in the tube. Hope you can kind of see it but that's what it looks like in the tube sorry like i'm filming on my phone so like it's really hard to see my freaking hands huge when i close but yeah anyways so that's what that one looks like so let's <laughs> i'm so bad at swatches okay on my arm it definitely looks like like there's red in it i don't know it's so hard to describe this color these are definitely colors i don't actually this one i would maybe pick up the black one I'm feeling adventurous, yeah, but I don't really know what I would do with it. Cause like, it's a fun color to wear. I just hope it's not like um, one of those typical dark colors that are really bad. Like they get patchy and stuff. But we, 
I'm gonna do wear tests on them. I'll do a separate video for that. But that is what the two liquid lips look like. Like, doesn't it look more like orangey red on camera? Like, I don't even know if my camera's picking up the color properly, but like, I swear it looks more orangey red to me. It's like really weird. But anyways, so those are the two liquid lips, doo doo and soil, and they're both supposed to be matte liquid lips. But anyways. Now we're moving on to what y'all really want to see, and that's the palette, and that is the Sahara palette. I really wanted one of the newer ones, but they're expensive, and I would rather get something that is on sale than something expensive. <laughs> How cool, it's bubble wrapped in the inside as well. I like that, that they're very thorough with trying to make sure that your stuff doesn't break. And then there's me doing this. It won't come out because the damn bubble wrap. Wow, this palette is so small, what the fuck? I swear, the pictures online and videos, they deceive you. It looks so much bigger in person. Or not in person, in uh, videos, but. So here's what it looks like. I'll let you see it first. Oh, forgot about that. I'm just gonna take that thing off. Eh. Ooh, so pretty. Like, can we just, oh my God. That's so pretty. Oh god, I'm not going to be able to pronounce any of these names. <laughs> only a couple in here that I'll be able to pronounce. I don't really know how to pronounce any of these names, so I'm not even going to try. Oh, and I really don't want to ruin it by doing squatches, but like, I have to. Okay, I'm going to start off with the red color. I don't know how to pronounce any of them. I don't even know if you can see it, but I'm going to start off with this color. Let's see what it looks like. I don't want to ruin it because I have my nails. I'm just like going to... So here's what it looks like on my finger. I don't want to like touch it too much. Okay, well that kind of ruins the swatch because like I like rubbed it out or whatever, but that's what it looks like when it's rubbed out. Okay, you know, I'm gonna do a better swatch because I know people come for me. So I put some more on. Ooh, nice. So I put more on, I didn't rub it, but here's what it looks like. Nice. Now we're gonna move on to the gold color. That's right beside it, so we're gonna move on to that color. Whoa, pigment, hello. You can see it, but there's what it looks like, so I'm just gonna swatch it right now. I'm definitely really bad at swatches, so do not go off of my swatches, as you can tell, but. You know what, I'm gonna swatch all these and then do a close up because I really can't right now twist my arm and shit like this, but I'm gonna quickly swatch all these and then do a close up. Okay, so I just did all the swatches and um, do not, just do not go off of my swatches because I can't swatch for shit, but yeah, they're just like all over my arm and I had to put it on the side of my arm. You can see that, like, I had to put it on the side, you can't even see it, but, or well, you would have seen it in my thing. I, but uh, yeah, these actually look really pretty. The shimmery colors are really nice to be quite honest and they kind of, they kind of had a little bit of a gritty feel, just a little bit. But honestly, these look really nice, and I cannot wait to do something with this. Because it looks, it's just, it's nice. So, yeah. So now we are moving on to Tarte. And this, uh, I think I just got a palette and maybe lip products. I can't exactly remember. We'll have to see. Okay, so. This is my first time ordering from Tarte. But anyway, so it says, hello, Tartlet. I think that's what it's supposed to say. Why choose between beauty that works and beauty that's healthy? Rethink natural okay anyways so i forget exactly what i got like i know one thing i got because i've been wanting it the other thing i swear i feel like i did get a lip product maybe i was just thinking that because of juvie's place <laughs> my finger really hurt oh shit i got more than i thought i did yeah i forgot they were giving a really cheap makeup bag away Okay, is that it? So here's everything that I got. So, did I get samples? Yes, I did. So I got this makeup bag, because I think it was free. I think it was maybe like two bucks or something. Like, it was either free or it was on sale. I can't remember exactly. It's really interesting looking, but maybe I'll give this to my sister. Maybe I'll use it as a pencil case. Because I already have a makeup bag that I use for like the makeup that I normally wear. So, so here's what it just looks like. And then on here, it says Tarte. It has like a tape or whatever on it. Like in the inside, it's like a 
decent size. It honestly looks more like a pencil case than it does a makeup bag, but whatever. So that's cute. Then I got this sample of their Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Hydrating Lipstick. So I got their, it's in the colors Beach Babe, Salt Life, and Sea Goddess. I'm not going to do swatches of these because I don't want to open them right now, but that's what they look like. And I got a sample of their Am Amazonian Clay 24 Hour Blush. This looks more like bronzer, but anyways, I don't know what color this is in, what color? And exposed. I got that as well. Now we're moving on to the actual products. So I got this um, set of the tar Tartiest lip colors, or lip paints I think is what they're called. So it just looks like this. Let us open it. I don't know why I'm bothering with the thumb that has the nail on it. Like, okay. So I do own one of these and i actually really like it like it's such a pretty color i came in a um birthday birthday gift i think last year or something so okay well this doesn't look like it's like is that like what's considered separated or whatever but anyways so the colors are rose and fomo oh did i break it no so let's quickly swatch these on my arm well, that's nice. so here's what the applicator looks like can't really see it but Ooh, that's color nice. This honestly looks like the one that I have right now. I forget the name of it, but I'll leave it up here, whatever the color name was. This one that I just swatched is Rose. So this one looks a lot like the color that I own right now, and I really do like it. Hmm, not much of a smell. Now we're going to do FOMO. This one looks like the... Is this what's considered mauve? I don't know. But here... Okay, doing it with my left hand is such a bad idea because my left hand is useless. It's like so, what do you call it? Shaky. So there's FOMO and Rose. They're both very pretty colors. FOMO honestly looks very like patchy on my arm. So we'll see how that wears on my lips or how it looks on my lips. But anyways, let's just put these back in here. Now we're going on to the big guy that I ordered. Ow. And that was the, the Adeline Morn palette sorry if i pronounced your name wrong so i'll be honest i watch idol in here and there and i remember like i used to watch her a lot that usually happens with youtubers like i watch them for a long time then i kind of go away and then i come back to them oh shit that was a bad idea anyways but i really do love adeline she's so just like i just love her she's so funny she's so pretty and i'm just like girl and she sells canadians so i'm like yes but i really wanted this because i honestly love the colors that are inside here and it just looks really pretty and I like how like it's yellow. Ew, mine's kind of dirty. Ew, what the hell? Why is mine all dirty? Whatever. But here's what it looks like on the outside. And then here's the back. See, like, look, it's like all dirty and shit. What? Whatever. That wasn't from me, though. Like, I opened it and it was just like that. So I'm like, the fuck? This is my first time owning a tart palette, so. Okay, here's what it looks like with the cover on. And then here's it off. It's like kind of a like did mine get ruined in packaging because it looks like some of the actual eyeshadows like coming off and it's all over my palette which i really don't like whatever so yeah here's just what it looks like it does look like such a like normal palette or whatever but i really do like it and i've never tried tarte's um formula before so yeah so we have the colors i don't know how she pronounces this one but we have uh adel angels i don't know how you pronounce that then we have contour law of attraction mama morin oops uh what's this one red oh oh man my nail scratched it Fuck. this is such a fail of a video but you know what whatever anyways where are we on to then we have hmm, smells nice then we have red eye flight right there but beep up right there girl supporting girls which is like the iconic like yellow color that she has with that then we have boss lady and then what's this one beautiful magical and wonderful then promise ring which is the highlight shade and i feel beautiful which is the blush shade so here's what it looks like it's a really nice palette oh, oh my god so i'm gonna go swatch these and come right back okay so i got the swatches here again but i swear something is up with me because i ruined my palette again 
my nail accidentally dug into the highlight color so now there's a big gash in it can you see that <sighs> why just why also like these colors they're very pretty but like I, i'm just so bad at swatching like this palette is really pretty and honestly they looked better on my fingertips than they did when i swatched because i am so bad at swatching so i'm really sorry but yeah so that was everything that i got so i hope you guys like this video even though this is a completely not even gonna talk about it because <laughs> yeah anyways do you all do you you know my ass too still somewhere around here <sighs> i just wanted to take simple shots of my swatches and my arm went on my shirt so now it's all over my shirt and i just can you know just like what is up with my arm i was putting it on normally so i don't know why my arm doesn't know how to work but bitch i swear that the swatch was like <sighs> That was not it. I was rubbing my foot on the ground. But anyways, this video was against me. That's all I'm going to say. I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Till next time. Bye, Ross.